Good morning, good day, and good night, everyone. Happy to you here, Hoot Hoot. I got a coffee. Two o'clock in the morning? What can go wrong? How's everyone doing today? We're going to dive into Final Fantasy again. We're still in Ulda, because it is the big starting region. But we're getting through the quests, and I think we're doing pretty good. I wasn't very lively last time, I noticed, so I'm going to try to be a little more, uh, peppy. Then again, it is two in the morning, so <laughs> we'll see. With that in mind, let's go on into the live feed in three, two, one. I love to sing along with that, but I can't. I'd love to. I, ah. <laughs> Man, I, I just love to sing along to that song, but I can't. I'm not that great. Ah, it was excellent earlier. Now it's poor. Just like Mama. Let's go on. Hmm. I always misheard a lyric in that song. And the Endwalker. Uh, Foot Foothills? I think that's what it's called. I always misheard it as, um... Something like uh, Forgotten Flip Phones and Breathe in Ash. Or something like that. I'm like, flip phones? In Final Fantasy? Wowzers. Get which line. Where it, where it went in the song. It's like, Forgotten Flip Phones and Breathe in Ash. Find a way to fade. I'm gonna begin to fade. Alright, so we got a couple songs. Well, <laughs> a couple quests to turn in. Oh, this is a rendition of Answers. But like in an old um, version. That's pretty cool. For those of you that are like really new to Final Fantasy, Answers is like the big song. That's, um... I guess very lore heavy. But I can't really reveal much of it. Oh wow, they are very far. I believe you can fly. Oh! That, we need to go over there anyway. Nice. Oh, those giant tortoise. They're so scary. No, I don't want to join fate. I'm running away from my life. I'm too, I'm too baby for that. I can't do it. Oh, are we digging oil here? Rusty coal. I wonder what it takes to... Let's try to take one of them down. Goodbye, Mr. Hato Spark. so bad. Gotta heal up a little bit. Not my health, though. Just, uh, my MP. I know I can drink in... I know I can drink in ether, but I don't have many of those. I'd rather use them sparingly. So how was everyone's day today? I went to get a haircut. That, that was, uh, I guess, great. <laughs> the guy did really good. I'm I'm always scared when I go to a new barber, because they can... they can do some damage. But this guy, he did really good. I'm just very happy with that. So if you're new here, hello, hello. Deputy to you here. I am just the streaming owl that streams sometimes. Let's see, another good thing that happened today was I found a keyboard, a mechanical keyboard, on sale that matched my 
uh, current PC. My PC is a few years old, so they don't really make this um, version anymore. Like, they changed the logo and everything of the PC recently. And it was just really cool that I found this, um, this keyboard. And it matches it. It's really, really nice. Let's see, I've learned a roll action. Da -da 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 -da. Spells and weapon skills are assigned to all classes within blah 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 blah. But only need to be learned once to be able to use them. Uh, the roll selection has been used. So I can do Adam. I think that like slows down an enemy. Hello, that stars. That star sis. Thank you so much for joining. Oh no, you come at me with a goose and a knife. Three gooses, three geese. Oh no, whatever shall I do? I'll die. That's what I'll do. Oh, am I supposed to just wait? I think I'm supposed to just wait. Strange. Oh, is this because I placed the marker here? Alright, do the dried fish thing. Gotcha. And then I'll wait for something over here. Do I just wait here? Right. And I'm pretty sure after the dried fish thing, I wait for a chance to slay a circling vulture. Or it gets stomped on by a giant tortoise. How are you doing that, Star? I hope you're doing good. Ah, I see. I sense a hostile presence. Well, it's only level 5. Oh well. Mission's mission. Get fried. And a slice of vulture meat. Uh, okay. Oh, that's right, we pay them in vulture meat. That's always, uh, something. Hope you're having a good day so far. Or good night. Good evening, even. I'm pretty sure that over there is the silver bazaar that we're looking for. Yes. By the way, I like to read out all the quests. I know some people kind of get um a little iffy on that. But, I don't know, I find it really fun. It makes it very personal. And gives me a chance to voice act a tiny bit. Ah, here's Kiki Poo. This is the one we have to give the letter to. Well, what is it then? Come to try and scare me and these poor folk off our land again. Well, go on, do your worst. I'll not budge one step from this spot. Oh, this one and the feather. Emmer beak tail feathers? And a letter? Dear God, it's from Oswell. Have you seen him? Is he well? Here is Kikipu. It's been so long since I wrote you last. How have you fared since? As ever, I'm a slave to my trade, and sadly it hasn't seen fit to take me or through the Silver Bazaar in some years. I've heard it through- I heard it told the scum of Ulda has set their sights on your Silver Bazaar. It seems beyond saving. Really, how long do you mean to linger in that horrid hovel? Remember, some birds just ain't meant to be caged. Spread your wings and soar once more, Kikipu. Spread my wings and soar? Oh, by the gods. <laughs> this- This is by far the most ridiculous letter I've ever seen- I've ever read. Well, and hammer beak tail feathers? The adult does realize he sent the feathers of a flightless bird, doesn't he? Aw, <laughs> poor Oswald. Well, Oswald can go bugger himself. I have no intentions of stepping on one ilm from this hovel, much less soaring from it. It's my hovel, and I love it. I was born in this hovel, and I'll die in this hovel. I say to reference. Dun, dun, dun. You're done making us use one of my testing grounds, are you? Off up the fee, then. <laughs> yeah. 
There's nothing so tender as a bit of meat pummeled with wonton wizardry. Nice doing business with you, Tharmturge. Oh, he looks like an onion. It's adorable. Did, did you say Tharmturge? Has this mage just completed a guild travel? Ah, Master Alchemist. What brings you out of our bazaar in this fine afternoon? The gentleman here just slew himself a plump vulture. You'd be surprised at how many of these scepter wielding, uh, scepter wielding sorcerers end up sliced to ribbons by beak and talon. And that's not the sort of flesh I'd have a taste, you understand. Oh, my brothers! Not again! Oh, <laughs> he's a little, I don't know. He's like, I don't know, I just want lunch. I just want a sandwich. Rufano has the look of a Lollafell dying to be asked if he has any work to offer. <laughs> ah, I just love these Lollafell. Hey there, friend. I am a sure way into some easy gill if you're interested. It won't be ever require you to break a sweat. Well, not much of one. All you need to do is slay another rusty Colbuns to... Yeah, Colbuns. To gather four bottles of Colbin grease and then deliver them to a hire by the name of Adelard at the hammers. Once he has the grease, he can use it to keep the hammers running. It couldn't be more simple. I'm surrounded by fools here. They detest the hammers and the new way they life they symbolize. They care only for the successes of the past, but it blinds them to the opportunities of the present. Change isn't coming, friend. It's already here. I call the Silver Bazaar home for now, but I've no lingering affection for the place. I go wherever there's guild to be gotten. Kikipu, what you gotta say about that? Kikipu is so bizarre, having a hard time handling a couple of troublesome laborers. You've a warm face for an outsider. Not like those other curs loitering about the bazaar. Surely you've seen the hammers to the east of here, or at the very least, heard them. Well, a few of their workers have decided to drop us in. Drop in on us for a little rest and relaxation. But they're no workers. They're nothing but hired muscles sent to threaten the people of the bazaar and harass our shops. It's not the first time. But I dare say a formidable lad such as yourself just might be able to scare them off with some strongly worded doubts. What say you? Oh, that's right, I gotta do the emotes. Yeah, I gotta scold them to death. Let's go. Oh, that's right, I won't get a chocobo of my own until about level 20. That's one of our... One of our, uh, missions. Yes. On our little sticky note down there. Down. Yes, I gotta look down. You don't want trouble with me, boy. Peace off. Use your moi. Do a motherfucker. I do not welcome you. Hold on. Where is my, uh... I know. I know. I don't believe you. Where's my strongly worded doubt? Intense. Golf. Doubt is in here somewhere. I believe. Believe. Eh. Here we are. Point. <laughs> Hick my fist. Your ears working? I said piss off. Enough already. I'm leaving. Let's all that bloody kikapoo. This is the end of nothing, you hear? Nothing! Wah. That's what he says. Wah. Like a baby. Aw. Baby. <laughs> I don't know why I find that adorable. It's just a person just randomly sleeping. Let's see. Another one should be south of here? North. I know my directions well. Mm hmm. Maybe they're up here. No, but I wouldn't mind this house. It's actually really quaint. Enjoy this a lot. Look at that sun. Burn our retinas. Burn them. Anyway. Moogle. There they are, right here. Sit around picking on poor folk? Easiest bloody girl I ever made. And the funnest. <laughs> Where's my... 
break out my doubt on you. I really do just point at them. What's that gonna do? You're a sister, little bastard, ain't you? Fine, I'm on my way. Until that kickapoo this ain't over. Nice. My business is my own. Now get out of my sight before I put you out of it. I doubt you, sir. Get off my lawn. Get off me, rugs. Bah. I was just about to leave anyway. Don't go thinking you had any part in it. Don't fall off the table. Yeesh. Is there another one in here? I think there's one more down here. Down by the boats. Yeah. Down to What's this one guy say? You can talk to me all day if you like. Short of a Garlean Legion marching through that gate, I won't be getting up anytime soon. That was a sentence. Yes, sir. You silly bizarre folk are annoying as all hells. I'll give you that. Bugger this job. I'm off to find some peace and quiet. Wah. Use the power of doubt. I'll speak to this one later. Down to the river. I walk down to the river. Well, this is an ocean. I walk down to the river. Watch my souls away. Are they gone then? All of them? Well, that's a relief. Serves them right for trying to scare honest folk from their homes so that their own masters can buy them. The hammers were but blah. The hammers were built to put down. <laughs> I need some more coffee, apparently. The hammers were built to pound the ground here into solid foundation. The plan is to turn these tracks into manors and manses for the Thanalan's wealthy. The same fate awaits the Silver Bazaar. Since the value of the land is to set the rise, Small wonder some opportunist is trying to drive us all off so he can have it all to himself. The Silver Bazaar may not be what she used to be. Aye, more people fear now. More people leave now than come. And aye, more shops closed than open. But it's my home! And I don't mean to be chased off by some bloody gillionaire, craven who sends some common thugs to do his dirty work. <laughs> you got this, Kiki Poop. I believe in you. I believe. Don't believe this housing crisis. If only I could bet his number zero. Greetings, tall one. I'm a delivery moogle, Koopa. Oh, I know what you're thinking. Moogles are supposed to hide in trees and avoid contact with outsiders. Why ever would they agree to carry about letters? Why, indeed. If I had my way, I'd be curled up underneath the canopy of a nice oak, dreaming about some beautiful mooglet with a rainbow-colored pom-pom, Koopa. But no, the moon had to go and drop from the sky, causing all of that terrible commotion. Aetherites were shattered and link pearls rendered useless. For moons, the poor, wingless people of Eorzea had no way of communicating with each other, beyond screaming at the top of their lungs, which no one would really approve of, Koopo. That is, until the little horned ones asked us to assist them by delivering messages. At first, we were wary to show ourselves, worried that one of you might catch us and skin us, like you do every other forest furry. But once we saw how much we were appreciated, we knew we'd found our new calling. And I personally promised to try and not read any along the way, Koopo. But no new letters for you today, Koopo. Oh, that's right, I can send more letters. I love the Moogles. Who doesn't? The Moogle delivery service can be accessed by speaking with one of the many delivery Moogles stationed throughout Eorzea, or by clicking on a Moogle letterbox. The service can be used to send messages, items, and guild to anyone on your friends list. Pressing the new button... Blah, 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 got it. Carry away my old limbs and that eyes my soul and found out you want. Sorry, got a song stuck in my head. Had to get it out. Danielle. Danielle of the Silver Bazaar requires some of the specific materials to fix his father's broken compass. Nice. Please, you must help me. It's my father. Well, he isn't dying or anything. He's a fisherman by trade, you see. But he broke his only compass. He hasn't been able to put out to sea in weeks. The compass is very special. 
It was crafted by the goldsmiths of Estames Lapidary, Lapid Lapidaries, repairing it will require many chunks of magnetite. Such stones can be found near the lighthouse, but the search is not without its dangers. The area is rife with earth sprites drawn to the magnetism. I am a lowly fisherman's son. I have no arm for fighting, nor the stomach. Three chunks of magnetite would serve to mend the compass. Once you find them, please take them to my father, Galfredus. No doubt he'll be dwaddling about the bazaar, as always. Blah, 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 blah. Let's see, the lighthouse is not that building. He's around here somewhere. Oh. Bowsers. Perhaps I might have to fight a hired hand soon enough. There's no lighthouse here. That must be... Yeah, down here. I appreciate you watching me, by the way. I know I haven't really spoken too much to you, but I really do appreciate you. I hope you're having a blast with this. I sure am. Pun unintended. A blast! Ooh, those are some nasty looking creatures. There we go. How many of these do I need? Four of them. Hmm. My magic doesn't really... Uh... Come back very fast, does it? And it costs a bit much. Can I transpose? Has no effect. Okay. I think that happens when I switch from fire to frost and then I transpose. Then again, I'm too sure. I'll have to read up on how these work. Oh, sweet. As soon as I touch that, though, something's gonna be summoned. I just know it. Usually how these things go, especially with these missions. Gotta yeah, wait for my, uh... My MP. Here we go. Oh wow, that was quick. <laughs> I think that was gonna be... A quick... Oh, they're stone, that's right. There we go. And I just need three of these. Okay. The other two must be on the other side. Man, fire magic is so expensive. An MP. I wonder if that's always the case. I guess it's because it's most effective. Unless, of course, the entity is fire as well. Then it's not really helpful at all. Man, there's so many of these rusty goblins. Goblins. I think, yeah, another one of those magnets is up here. You leave me an arm. Do, 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 do.
Hmm. Ice magic isn't so bad at all. Much cheaper. I don't know how much more effective it is. Maybe with more uses of it. See, one of the missions is down here, and the rest I think are back in Old Dawn. I keep saying Old Dawn, but it's Old Da. No N. Don't waste your time, mate. But a compass done broke on me. I, I'll not be fishing this day, nor the next, more than like. Magnetite? Danielle asked of that, didn't he? So, Dad's to fix up the old compass and put out back to sea, is he? Catch a nice haul of fat fish, hmm? I have a vessel what's barely seaworthy and scarce big enough for me alone. I have no crew, no hands to help with the haul. All bloody day at sea, busting me ours. Gets me a few gill at best. God's days ain't what they were. Time was you could scarce count the ships what used to make berth here. There weren't no too many coin purse, no empty coin purse or stomach and all that bizarre. Small ships ain't got no place at sea no more. Everywhere I go, I'm in the shadow, or walk around some monstrous drawler or signer. The old ways are done. We little fishermen done lost our way. I ain't no fisherman no more. Not much of a father, I suppose. Just the broken mouth, the broken compass, and broken dream. Ow! I believe! Tackle the problem. Yes! Alfred us of the Silver Czar wishes to reclaim his fishing lures from the goblin muggers who took him. Leather mitts, leaven ring bands. Leather ring bands. I appreciate what you did, friend, bringing me magnetite. Gave it some more thoughts, I did. Putting back out to sea and all. But even with me compass fixed, still ain't got me lucky copper lures. Was waylaid by some goblin muggers a few weeks back, just north and east of here. Bastards made off of all me lures, dozens all told. Must be ye filled some earth spirits to get at the magnetite chunks, am I right? If so, I reckon you could put out a few goblins and bring me back me lures. Suppose I can make it. Suppose I can make do with just two of them. A couple of copper ones should serve for now. You have to help him put up a broken life back together. Yes. For the family. Alright, so let's see where that one needs to be. Grease the cogs. Okay, I do that one next. I must be crazy trying to play a game at 2 o'clock in the morning. 3 o'clock pretty soon. But I'm a night owl. Hoot hoot. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Here, Adelard. What is it? Can't you see I'm busy cleaning the sand clogs from these hammers? Gods, I'd kill for a few bottles of cobbling grease right now. Here you go. Cobbling grease! Fafano no. Fafafo no. Fafado no. The final note must have sent you. Thank the gods for both of you. Before long, these tracks will be covered with the estates of Old Don Elite. But the ground is still too loose to build upon. The hammers are pounding to make a solid foundation. Once that's done, then you'll see these structures to start to rise. The building was planned to stretch even farther, to the hearts of the Silver Bazaar even. But it seems the powers that be are being met with some, uh, local resistance. I've heard some last name Kikaboo holds the rights to the bulk of the land here. Stubborn to a fault, that one. Bloody thorn inside. Nice. And yeah, that's a cool sight right there. Look at that. Can you go inside that? I think you can. Be nice. It'd be amazing if I'm able to acquire a house in this game, but I really don't need it. I mean, let's face it. Most of us don't really need a house. Especially if you're in a guild. Then you could just kind of be a hobo. <laughs> be a hobo in the guild. Just constantly rent. 
Just throw a backpack in the corner and say, mine. Oh no, not a fate. No, I'll die. Well, these are only level 3 cactars. Needless shed by cactars are the number 4 cases of foot irritation. Oh! Needles left by cactars, so the number of four cases of foot irritation all western Thanalan. By slaying a few cactars, we can see that number drop to sixth, or even seventh. But the poor cactars. Adorable little creatures. Well, I can, I can do this a little bit. Cactars, though, they're doing nothing. They're just being their little selves. Be gone! You shall not pass. Oh. Probably should be farther away from you. Aww, they even make like a tiny little squeak. I'm sorry. Who tried that? Oh, that's adorable. They can, like, like play dead. They could just, like, stand there for a little bit. I think I'm the only one slaying these cactar. That's fine. I'm just being witnessed by this giant tortoise. Poor giant tortoise is witnessing this bloodshed. This cactar bloodshed. I'm sorry. I feel so bad. I'm glad that they labeled to enemy a little bit. Like this one's enemy V. So I can be like, okay, that one's targeting me. Because they're all cactars. But I, would, I really wouldn't know the difference. Aside from that. Oh yeah, I did it. Da -da -da. I think I only got 10 gil, that's alright. Once a phase is completed, a window detailing your reward will be displayed. Rewards are distributed to every event participant and are based not only on success, but on individual contributions. The more active you are in these completing objective requests, event objectives, the greater your contribution will be deemed. Contribution is indicated via the gold, silver, or bronze medal that appears on your window. Nice. I got 10 pennies. Oh, someone's coming with a chocobo. Goodbye, chocobo. Nice. Adorable, even. Okay, so is there supposed to be anyone here? No. Eam of the Scorpion Crossing is worried about the condition of her chocobo. You there! Yes, you. You're an adventurer, are you not? You travel about Eorzea, slaying beasts and finding treasure. Th that sort of thing? I have need of your help. I must travel to Horizon where my cargo awaits, but my chocobo, Slugger, won't move an elm. I tried to have a closer look, but I saw a vile pair of antenna protruding from his feathers and lost my nerve. I lost Slugger- I love Slugger with all my heart, but bugs- bugs I cannot do. I fear he may have a parasite ladybug that scourged itself on his blood. Uh, check him for me, will you? And if you find a ladybug dug in there somewhere, kill a damn thing. Blah, 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 blah. Hello, Slugger. Hi, right, let me see. Kew, kew. Oh, there's many of them. Or maybe we just did the same to quit. 
We just did the same quest at the same time. That's nice. I, I guess that's it. Oh, we probably messed it up because we did it at the same time. Q! Give a go Q! Okay, cool. Nice. Slugger says thank you. And you've my thanks as well. I was sure... I was sure a sun-up it was a parasite, Ladybug. Must have latched itself on somewhere along the, along the road. But how the bloody thing managed to stay concealed at that size is a complete mystery. In fact, I'm not even going to question it. I'd just like to move on and put this all behind me. If we don't keep our chocobos healthy, Cargo won't be able to move over land. We owe these birds a great debt. I wish more folk would see that. Lightning shard. A tiny crystalline manifestation of ether etheric lightning energy. Oh, it's a crafting. Wait. I don't really craft anything right now, but I guess I should keep it. Let's see, where to now? Well, I've definitely got many quests to do. Goblet. That takes me to... Which quest now? I guess I should finish these two, um, old duck quests real quick. The ones that are already ready to be, uh, dealt with. Yeah. And then I'll come back out here and finish the other ones. Does this happen often? Huh. I guess so. Wowzers. That lizard. Interesting mount. Speaking of mounts, I have to try to do the Easter missions. The seasonal thing? I haven't done a single one of them yet. I don't really know how to. I just assume follow the music. And then you'll go on from there. Because this event lasts until the 27th. And the servers will be down on the 25th. So, better late than never. Better late than ever. Or is it never? Coffee brain. Oh, it's my favorite boy, Tokobago. Tokobago. Toko Bagels. <laughs> I'm silly. Ah! ah! Welcome back, Dashin. You seem to have done well. Both eyes intact. Face appears unshredded. It's truly the most terrible feeling to have one's casting interrupted by a heinous energy. Injury. Hmm. One well, of the easier trials if you ask me. Keep well away from pointy slashy bashy things if you want to reach the end of an arcane utterance. That's just common sense. Fortune favors the fighter who flings fire from afar. I simply love the look of a loathing leveled at me by the distant duelist distressed by my deadly downpour. <laughs> <sighs> we Tharmaturges excel at offense, but fail miserably at defense. Our most effective strategy is to topple our adversaries with overwhelming force before they have a chance to respond. Honor is for knights and dead mages. <laughs> Dashing. Your studies appear to be progressing nicely. It won't be long before you dominate the battlefield as an avatar of sorcerer's destruction. Aww. <laughs> so it's true, Buki. Don't try to hide it from me, Bygo. Or you, Bonnie. Or Bezzy. Or Boha. Kokobusi? What are you doing here? <laughs> you promised. You promised you would teach me next! Well, yes, of course we did, Boosie, but, uh, the, the dash in here was most insistent. <laughs> and once again, you brush me aside and hope that I abandon my heart's desire. Why do you deny me? I hate you! I love you! Aw, oh, poor Coco Boosie. What, what an unfortunate name, though. Please, Boosie! <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm such a child, I'm sorry. <laughs> Please, Boosie! You shouldn't say such hurtful things! You know how delicate Baigo is! I know, my boy. Or Baigo. Erm, <laughs> um, that was Kokobusi, our youngest brother. He so dearly wishes to become a Tharmaturge like the rest of us, but it simply is impossible. Poor boy's etheric levels are pitifully low. We thought we had convinced him to accept Fate's cruel quirks when he entered the Alchemist Guild, but he yet yearns to walk the path of a Tharmaturgy. Such is Kokobusi's determination that he spends all his waking moments experimenting with alchemical concoctions, seeking a method by which he can expand his capacity for arcane manipulation. Ahem. <laughs> well, this is obviously not your concern. Back to the abyss with you, the young Tharmaturge. I mean that in the most encouraging manner possible. <laughs> Back to hell with you! In the most sincere way. <laughs> I love this story. I'm sorry. It's just... It's just an adorable little guild. It's just a little, little Lullafell cult, and they're just ushering me with the most sincerest, like, congratulations. The adorable, custom-made robe of casting. Hmm. Interesting. I already got a hat. And... Any better? Well, it's one more defense, so that's nice. Uh, that does nothing for me. That does nothing. Uh, yeah. You obtain an untradable item. This item is yours and yours alone. It cannot be sold or traded. You have obtained a unique item. As this item is special, you can never possess more than one at a time. That's right, because it's custom made. Ooh, look at me. So fancy. I can twirl in this room. Yes, I would 100% twirl in something. Just look at it. It's so fun. I'm sure there must be an emote for me to just twirl. One day. One day. Oh, this one is locked at level 10. Almost there. Almost there. Let's try small talk. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So you wish to peer into the abyss of Tharmaturgy. Well, we already went through all that. Thank y'all so much for watching. We have been streaming for about an hour now, I hope. Oh. Huh. Only 45 minutes. Wowzers. Did not know. Hasn't been that long at all. I'd say it was longer than today's stream earlier. So, that's great. Now I gotta find where all this Easter stuff is happening. The, um, Hatchling. Is that what it's called? The Hatchling event? I've heard that you can get mounts and emotes and little cosmetic things from it. So, hopefully I'm a high enough level to do it. Otherwise, I'm lost. I just gotta follow the papaya song. And that is... Deep in here, I think. Hello, Moogles. Hi, Moogles. Nice bard. Into here we go. Hey, look at this environment. It's just awesome. Papaya. 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 Okay, so I actually don't know where to actually begin. I think she'll just... I represent the interests of the nations in educating adventurers on technologies available for strengthening the bonds between them. To that end, I'd like to introduce to you the Link Shell. A Link Shell enables you to communicate with others over any distance, as if they were before your very eyes. You may have as many as eight Link Shells open at any given time, allowing you to communicate simultaneously with any number of people. The only time your physical presence is required is... well, never! Would you care to give it a try? I can create a personal link shell for you now if you'd like. The link shell feature is now available. Link shells are chat groups, which allow for quick and easy communication between players who are not easily or are not necessarily in a party or a free company. Link shells can have up to 128 members, while members while players who possess as many as eight separate link shells. 
independent importer purchase items okay so that's not what I need Courteous collector good evening friend might you be interested in learning about the hatch hatching tide festivities yes a fledgling festival Hatching Tide was born of a prophetic dream visited upon a Grudanian maiden named Dioli Alipo. In her dream, the twelve Archons of old appeared, those heroes who saved the realm from the destruction of the Sixth Umbral Calamity. Descending from the heavens atop beautifully decorated eggs, they said to Dioli, Arise, young dreamer, and make ready the vessels of our return. And so she did, painstakingly painting and, and gilding eggs to match those from her vision. World of Prophecy spread. Word of the Prophecy spread and Jill He attracted helpers to assist in her toils. After the calamity, the festival grew further, as townsfolk and adventurers flocked to celebrate the Archons of Yor, who many believe had some hand in delivering the realm once again. Now that you've learned about Hatching Tide, perhaps you'd like to give to participate in it. Should you be so inclined, we invite you to Gridania, where the, festi where the festivities are being held. We look forward to seeing you there. Oh uh, no, it's in Gridania. Can I actually make it there? I think I can. I have to take, um, like, uh, the berry, maybe? Well, it's not necessarily the fairy. I think it's, like, the airship that kind of delivers me to Gridania. Because I think each, uh, each capital has one. Like, Limsa, Laminsa, Gridania, and Ulda. I think they all have it. A set of three mugs. Oh, that's adorable. That is so adorable. Just like your own little entourage playing music for you. And so cute. Hello, Moogle entourage. Now, where is the gladiators? Go? Boya, 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 boya. Boya. Almost there. Fiddle dee dee. Feats of... Steps of Thal. Here we go. And... Gladiator's Guild is not here. Perhaps it's further down. Was I led astray? No, I was not. I know I can take an Aether right there, but I'd rather walk. Because I get to experience all this. Really beautiful. And I don't want to take it for granted. I mean, think of all the MMOs that came before this game. Heck, even the first version of this game. Compare it to what it is now. It's just amazing to see all the progress that's been made. Just so that people like you and me can have fun. Really nice thought. Is this a gladiator's guild? Is this a meme? No. Ah, so it must be this way. Okay. And we made it. The Colosseum. And the guy's mission is down there. How do I get down? I could just jump. Probably not the best idea. But it is an idea. Or we could just go in here. <laughs> Back in one piece, are you? Not bloody time. I admit, you look as though you just picked up a sword yesterday. But you handle yourself well enough, I'll give you that. And here, I'll give you this as well. Ain't worth a night in old as fine as Pillow House. I'm sure you'll find a use for it. Yeah. 
Alright, so the other missions are outside. Back into the fray. Rudius Prospector. Proprietor. Viking Sword. Blah, 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 blah. The problem is I really don't know what to do with all these stores. Oh, that's right. I have all this gill. Okay, no, let's buy back. Uh, select item to sell. Yeah, I can sell this thing. Get me a hundred gill. I don't really do anything with any of these materials yet, but I'm not gonna sell them. Not yet, at least. And I almost have 2,000 gil. I wonder what that'll get me. Perhaps a Snickers bar. Let's see, if I go through Western Thanalan. Thank y'all so much for watching. It's still me, Dapper Tattoo. <laughs> I haven't changed one bit. Glad I can remain constant during these streams. Or consistently random. That's good too. One of these missions is right here. It's always the giant tortoise. It always gets me. Ambush from above. Momoraji. Heard about the auctions, have you? You're not the first to approach me this morn. Aye, it is true. In an effort to encourage immigration to our great nation, all lands within the goblet are to be set aside for adventurers like yourself. Tragic, some might say, that only adventurers will be permitted to settle within its wards. But such decisions were made by men wiser than I. A beautiful place to goblet. And made oasis, built atop a towering butt. Beauty. Ah, but why bother explaining when you can see it for yourself? Just head through these gates and follow the road. If you wish to know more about the goblet, speak with the recruit stationed just past the entrance. He will be happy to assist you. Let's do it. Uh... Each of the three nations have established a residential district. Residential district, wherein like-minded adventurers can establish a base for their activities. Each residential district is divided into wards, which in turn house 60 plots of land. Both the individuals may purchase plots to lands inside, upon which to build their own estate halls, while free companies may jointly purchase these plots. Those seeking simpler quarters may instead purchase a room in the apartment buildings found in each of these residential districts. Estate halls and apartments can be customized by installing features, fixtures, and placing furnishings. Please note that in case of estate halls, the specific company privileges are required for customization. More information on housing can be had by speaking with residential caretakers stationed at each of these residential districts.
thought I'm just supposed to select one. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's a lot of gil. Oh, boy. I could see why people were trying to get into this. Odd. Huh. Okay. Alright, so, uh, what other quests are we supposed to do here? So close, but yet so far. Hmm. Let's set the Silver Bazaar. Yes, yes. Uh, do 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 Something's happening here. Tackle the problem. Hello, cactars. Bye, cactars. Let me just run through here real quick. Oh, looks like that fight's back. Or they're just tackling too many things at once. Nope, this is a fate. They're gonna need some help. After devouring all the ore remaining in a nearby abandoned mine, a sizable pack of goblins have set out into the desert in search of new feeding grounds. Majan and sons will suffer the pilfering of their yet-to-be-claimed resources no more, and seek the immediate eradication of these pests. so far away. <laughs> okay. Please come back. Please come back so I can slay you. I think of you. Oh no, you're just going way away. So okay. I see. I see. Going way away. Thankfully, it's bringing me closer to my other mission. Seems like it is. Okay, they disappeared. Forever away. I see. Ah, here's all the goblins that I need to slay. So sad.
Here we go. Do 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 do. Well, I think it's been a pretty good day today. Pretty good day and a good night. Hope you're all having the same time too. Like another fate is here. Oh no, something different. Diligent worker. Of course. You cannot drive the piles without Earth Sprite cores. Cores harden the land. Up the piles take hold. Have you any cores? Recommended level for this fate is eight. Of course. Flying about. Of course. Flying about. Workers of Hammeria require each Earth Sprite course to help harden the land before they can drive through. Okay, so I need several of them. Just as many as possible. Are they usually this mad? I don't think they are. Somehow I managed to scare myself with my own coins. <laughs> Deliver these so far. Of course. Of course. I'm so desperate for these boys.
And there we go. I think this is like my third fate today. I'm just a lone ranger. Getting all these cores and stuff. Oh no, there's another one with me. Oh, I've only got 15 seconds. Can we do it? That's about as many as we can do. Oh, no, two seconds. No! Ah! Oh, well. <laughs> that was fun. Alright, now to finish the mission in here. It ain't easy to ask, but I'm asking all the same, friend. You copper lures to get me back out to sea and pull me Danielle's heart at ease. I'll be damned. The old copper lures. Never thought I'd see these buttes again. Bloody hells. Them goblins sure saw to banging them up. Bah. Ain't gotta catch no fish with these. Well, that's that. Must be Nod himself telling me to give up my sea legs. Might be as there's a new life waiting out there. Somewhere. Heh. <laughs> Maybe me compass will lead me to it. Ah. <sighs> Born and bred here I was. Ain't never called no place else home. Times are changing though. Suppose I should sell me off me land to them bloody buzzard prospectors and see what else is out there for me. Yeah, that's worth it. 
Oh, two new missions. Nice. Level 8. Something has Fafafono of the Silver Bazaar in a really agitated state. Those goddamn alders! Who do they think they are? I paid good coin to... Ah, you there. You're the one of those task-seeking adventurer types, aren't you not? Time wears I ordered from those old Don Merchant arrived, but those bloody worthless haulers just dropped them outside the gate and left. Ain't obliged to bring him no further, the lazy bastard said. Gate to the bazaar is to the bazaar. Order ain't su said nothing about no home delivery. The gall. <sighs> there are three pieces in all. Would you be so kind as to bring them to me? Ah, sounds like me with, like, Amazon deliveries. <laughs> or just any deliveries from, like, uh, any delivery service. Yes, unnamed delivery services, yes. His wee little legs couldn't go outside the gates. That's fine. I could take him for him. With my big elf legs. Even though I'm the shortest elf. On purpose. <laughs> Despite being a short elizen, I'm still, like, towering over these lalafels. It's adorable. Gods, those elves better not have damaged my bags. Well, have you found them yet? Let's see. Yes, yes, and yes. Excellent! Excellent! Everything is accounted for. These bags contain garments from sun silk tapestries, though each is, uh, flawed in some way. In Ulda, even a minor misthread is enough to turn the most luxur luxurious gown into fodder for the furnaces. But not here, though. So long as the garments bear a famous name, the souls of the Silver Bazaar have no qualms with quality. <sighs> Times used to be better. We were never so driven to such, uh, lows. But Gale is harder to come by now, and more so with each passing day. All that's left of this bazaar are overly proud souls with under... with... underly developed tastes. Everyone clings to the glories of the golden past, yet none make efforts to reshape the dismal present. I pray this damnable bazaar someday sinks beneath the sands that strangle it. The sooner, the better. Other boots. Hmm. Well, I do enjoy the idea of more boots. Oh, I could do another job quest. Dang. Action learned. Sweep. I assume that puts an uh, enemy at ease. Interesting. I think what I want to do next is go to Limsa Laminsa and start learning the fishing quests. Because fishing is actually really relaxing in this game. It really is. Hello, Kiki Poo. Kiki Poo is searching for someone to help her with her land prospectors who have their sights set on the Silver Bazaar. It's terrible, Dashin! Simply terrible! Please, you must help us. You've already done so much for us, I know, but we are in grave danger. Those fiends have drawn up a fake contract to sail, or are trying to use it to drive us from the bazaar. Do you smell that, Kikipu? That is the smell of an inevitability. You knew this day would come. You simply chose to fill the interim with resistance rather than acceptance. Brave, but foolish. Oh, look at him, with his little shady glasses. Interesting. What happened to his head? Oof. Back for more, Kenrick? Kenrick? Back for more, Kenrick? How many times must I say it before it seeps into that thick skull of yours? I'll die before I see one ilm of this land fall into your hands. Really arranged, I assure you. Come, Kikipoo, listen to reason. You know who we are. You know our deeds. You've no hope in this. Look at this miserable place, a stain on the map. You resist now, but I swear I will lay waste to these shabby tents and broken buildings. And when I'm finished, I guarantee you will thank me for it. Stupid, foolish man. You couldn't be more wrong. We may no longer boast the villagers of... We may no longer boast the visitors or gill of days past, but this is home for me, and many more. Our memories are here, years worth of them, decades. We sweated together when we dug this well. We laughed and drank together in every festival, and we mourned together with each life the desert took from us. That is the Silver Bazaar. That is home. Those memories are what we make this place. And I swear to the Twelves above, I'll feed you on whatever masters you serve to your own manhood before I let you destroy it. 
Now she's... Ah, <sighs> stubborn girl. Oh, no matter. The sale is all but concluded. Look about you. Rights of seizure have already been posted. And I'd not think of taking them down were I you. Were I you. And I'd not think of taking them down were I you. And this futile fight, Kikapu. There are far more of us. And if you're truly willing to die for this place, we're more than willing to oblige you. Dashin, please, the rights of seizure. You must tear them down and chase Kenrick from here once and for all. Once I clear my throat, I really should clear my throat. Ugh. Hello, delivery Moogle. Goodbye, delivery Moogle. You sense a hostile presence. Please, your hostility. Be gone with your hostility. That's right, that you get. That's a fun mission. I like be the last quest for me because I should go to bed. It is 3.30. But I do appreciate you watching. This has been really fun so far. This game's always been fun for me. I'm just glad I get to fully appreciate it now. Oh, is that the dancer class? Maybe not. I don't really know. Keep. Maybe later. I'll talk to you soon. There we go. Aww. Now, I think the last guy is here, Kenrick. Get out of here. I thought she might be along. Pity, you're too late. The demolitionists are already on their way. Every building bearing a right of seizure will rumble within the hour. The, the rights? You? What have you done? What that means? M my men? No, that's impossible. The day may be yours, but I will be back soon, and with far more fearsome company. You've made an enemy for life, you fool. I won't be content simply to see the bazaar stuck from, struck from the maps. No, I'll not rest until its name is wiped from every history book in Eorzea. Wow, there he goes. We saved it, Kikipu. Here we are. Oh, Kenrick is gone for now, is he? That's certainly the brightest news we've had in a while. Though I can't help but wonder about the more fearsome company he threatens to bring. Uh, I, I've never had a way with words. Bloody paltry things. Uh, but I, er, uh, we would like to thank you, Dashin. You've not just saved the Silver Bazaar. You saved me. You saved who I am. I see now that I've had to maintain constant vigilance, vigilance to keep my home from harm, but it's a vigil I welcome. I'll stand to up to and I'll stand up to any threat that comes through that gate. And we'll stand with you. Yay! 
What do you... So what you did for us, having Dash in here chase off Kenrick and all that. It's true, there ain't much here worth fighting for. But it's its own, goddammit. And I, for one, ain't ready to give up on that just yet. Aye, this is home. And even if there's nothing left but sand and cracked stone, then I say we build something. Right here. Together. Oh, you guys! Oh, so cute. Okay, sorry. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. And most of all, thank you, Dashin. There are no fine garments of gold spun and brocade here. No more bustling port with ships full of cargo and fish. But the better days live on in our hearts. We are the Silver Bazaar, and it is us. Our memories, our past, our history. That is what makes this place. So long as we remain, so too does hope. You taught us what it is to defend a home we love, and from now on, we'll do no less for ourselves than you've done for us. I have a final favor to ask of you. This letter. I wonder if you would deliver it to Mamadi for me when you next visit Ulda. She and I have been friends for many years. Let her read my words, and she'll be able to give you the reward I cannot. Aww. Aww. Hello, Chocobo Keep. Well met, Traveler. Might I interest you in a Chocobo Porter? Ah, do not tell me. This is your first visit to the stop. I shall update my register with your name, that you may access this location in the future. Not enough gill to play that bloody Aetherite teleportion fee? Or perhaps you simply cannot want to ride blah 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 blah. Not enough gill to pay that bloody Aetherite teleportation fee? Or perhaps you simply want to ride in peace, not having to worry about fumbling through your maps or dodging bloodthirsty beasts. And a chocobo porter is exactly what you need. Our birds will carry you quickly and safely to one of the many convenient destinations for merely a small handful of coin. We only ask that you observe two simple rules. Firstly, should you dismount while en route, you may not you will not be allowed to remount. Chocobo will continue on his destination, leaving you to fend for yourself. And secondly, though each stop has a full list of accessible destinations, we will only authorize travel with those you have visited at least once before. This is to ensure that, on the off chance that one of our birds becomes disoriented and loses his way, you will be able to guide him back on course. Rest assured, however, this has never happened once in their many years of service. Our birds are traveled to travel. Our birds are trained to travel specific courses and never deviate from them. They have also been bred for speed and will avoid outside threats to the best of their ability. In fact, we are so certain of their capacity to deliver you unharmed to your final destination that should you be attacked while riding a Chocobo Porter, we will refund your rental fee in full. Allow me to show you your bird. Allow me to show you to your bird. Right this way, me lord. Oh, for 15 gil. I appreciate it. Nice. Alright, with that, I'm going to park my butt. Um, here, maybe? Somewhere? Positions. There we go. Alright, with that, thank y'all so much for watching. Oh, Captain Seb, hello! Howdy, howdy, howdy. I was just about to log out, but... Howdy. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. How have you been? I didn't see what you were streaming last time. And unfortunately, I don't have Nightbot to set up a... Like a shoutout. Yet. But I should be able to do that pretty soon. The code in the little shoutout thing. But how have you been, Captain? Oh. What's Hunt? I don't know what that is. Hunt Showdown. What do you do in Hunt Showdown? I'm very curious. Also, I don't know if me holding my arms behind my head changes my avatar. I don't know if it kind of goes wabba labba labba. <laughs> Ooh, the coffee. So, Hunt Showdown. I would guess it has something to do with hunting, but I could be wrong. I could be dead wrong, you. It happens.
Let's see, it's a shooter similar to a battle royale, but your play or NPC kill not to be last alive. Oh, so you're trying to get killed? Is that what you want to be? Are you trying to get NPCs to kill you? Or are you trying to make sure that it's an NPC that is last alive and not an actual player? Hmm. I've never heard of this before. Sounds like an interesting idea. You want to kill a specific NPT NPC target. Okay. So you're hunt Oh, so you're hunting a specific NPC. And you don't want to be the last one to do that. I see. Okay. That sounds pretty cool. Ooh. Want to check out something. Uh, key bind? Great and save multiple step macros to execute. Uh, I think I only got one, two, three, four, five. One, one, two, three, five, six. I recently got a new keyboard, so I'm seeing if I could do macro keys. But I also play with gamepads, so having a macro is not a... I really don't need it. <laughs> but I also do. Uh, player guide, creation... I'm trying to remember how to do basically like the turn off the HUD so I can take like pictures and stuff. I assume it's in system configuration. Graphic settings. UI resolution. Da da da. Here. Okay, so all that, that's right, that's right, that's right. Select HUD. Back. That's right, I can do first person in this game. I, I keep forgetting. Nice. Alright, uh, let's see, I really do want to raid someone tonight, because I've been feeling really good today. <laughs> thank y'all so much for joining me on this awesome journey. And thank you for, uh, telling me about Hunt Showdown. I've never heard of that game before. But it sounds like a really interesting idea. I'll have to look into that. Do you find it fun? Right, let's see who's on tonight. Um let's see, diffuse moose. Diffuse moose. Moose words. <laughs> They're playing Midnight Ghost Hunt. Iron Mouse is playing Elden Ring. Hmm. Let's see if anyone is playing Hunt Showdown. I'm trying to find a smaller streamer. Ah, John, John Sesus or Casus, they're doing Hunt Showdown. Let's go for them. Their stream looks pretty good. Let's raid them. Thank y'all once again for joining me. I hope y'all have a good day, good night, good whatever. Just make sure you have a good one. And again, thank you for putting up with me when I'm going through and reading all these quests and stuff. 
I know that can get kind of boring sometimes, but it's I find it really fun. It makes the game personal, and I just enjoy that. And Final Fantasy allows me to do that. While you saw with Elder Scrolls Online, all of it is uh, voice acted already. And while that helps with immersion, it also kind of takes away the immersion. It kind of feels like everyone goes through the same quest, rather than you experiencing it for yourself. So, I just like to read through all the quests in Final Fantasy. But again, thank you all so much for watching me. I hope to stream sometime later on, uh, in the weekend. And with that, let's go on and raid John Sesus. Let's go!